Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And our topic today is My Harvest is the End of the World. This comes from, let's see, Matthew 13, 39. What does it mean? My harvest is the end of the world. In this case, the world is a time, time frame. It's the end of all things. So before the end will come, a harvest will take place. First, the escape of the bride, 10% of the church or 2% of the world population will escape into the clouds because they, have, they are worthy to escape all the things that will come onto the earth. And then at the sixth seal, a multitude that nobody could number. The wheat harvest, the escape was a barley harvest, then the wheat harvest. Because wheat, if you want to get it for consumption, you have to use it to some kind of work on it, or some kind of tribulation. You have to subject it to something so that the outer hard shell will be removed. So in this case, the people who will be part of the wheat harvest will go through the seal tribulations. And at the sixth seal, they will be ruptured into paradise. But the scope of the bride, the barley harvest, barley does not need any treatment will go into the third heaven. And then, of course, we have the grape harvest. At the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, feet down on the Mount of Olives. That's the reason why the Lord has said, my harvest is the end of the world. Because he will put everybody into the harvest. And if you are not found worthy for any of them to qualify, either for the barley, for the wheat, or for the grape harvest, then you will be judged and thrown in the lake of fire. Spend your eternity there. But you, that are either worthy as a bride without spot and wrinkle, will go to the third heaven. Or you, that have made their filthy garment clean in the blood of the Lamb during the seal tribulation, and will stand as a multitude clothed in white at the entrance to paradise at Mount Zion at the sixth seal. You will be taken into heaven. Even Mount Zion is a heavenly place. Also then at this time on earth, because there will be a converging of heaven and earth that will take place. And we at Triple Grace are dedicated to take you to Mount Zion. That's the reason why we are teaching and preaching about the great exodus because to stand alive at the base of Mount Zion you have to come out of the world and out of Babylon because during the seal tribulation the world will be controlled by the Antichrist and Babylon by the false prophet and then if you remain in the world and in Babylon you have to take the mark of the beast or if you refuse you will die as a murderer so you will not stand alive at the base of Mount Zion. You will also reach paradise because you died as a murderer. But the Lord wants that you fulfill your destiny and purpose on earth, and that is to bring in the harvest of the ages, to bring the wheat into his barn. And for that purpose you have to be alive. So how can you be alive if Antichrist is ruling the world? By being set apart, by being outside of the world and outside of Babylon, by establishing your own dwelling place of Zion, an assembly of love and righteousness separated from the world, by not following anymore your careers and the worldly temptations, but by following the heavenly mandate, and that is winning souls, by coming together in the assembly of Zion in your dwelling place of Zion, in your assembly, in your society of the Rose, by empowering the people that you have gathered there, and then sending them out into the neighborhood to bring in the harvest of the ages. 
This is your destiny and your purpose that you should follow. And these dwelling places of Zion that you create will be covered by day with a cloud and smoke and by night with a flaming fire by the Lord so that the Antichrist will not come and harm you. That you have no jurisdiction at your place because your place is holy. Your place are the harvest workers. Read Luke 10, see that 72 people were sent out. And in the end time, I believe it will be 72,000 that will be sent out paired. So that would make at least 36,000 dwelling places of Zion in the world. And each dwelling place will have an assembly of, of 50 people maximum. So that counts then to 1.8 million people that get empowered and receive the Holy Spirit and will bring in the harvest of the ages. So 1.8 million people in the world can bring hundreds of millions into the fold and can bring hundreds of millions towards Mount Zion. So the multitude that will be gathered at that place, well, nobody can number it. Try to number hundreds of millions if they are in a crowd. You cannot. And these hundreds of millions and the harvest of the ages are also the fulfillment of what the Lord has promised Abraham. That your seed will be so great that nobody can number it. The number of the stars in the sky and the sand at the sea. Fulfillment of the Abrahamic covenant. So walk with us that path to Mount Zion. Join us. Learn from us. We will train and teach you how to establish a dwelling place of Zion and how to gather the people together and how to empower them so that they can get in the wheat into the barn, that they can bring in the harvest of the ages. Sign up as a subscriber to our YouTube channel. Become a member of our website at triple-grace.com. So into the ministry, help us to spread the messages. And any question of you, I'm ready to answer them anytime. Just send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Start today. Come out of the world and out of Babylon and establish a society of the rose, a dwelling place of Zion in your neighborhood. Step forward right now. Into your destiny. Become a harvest worker for the Lord. Get changed and empowered by the Holy Spirit. In the same way as the Apostle received the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. And then go out into the nation, into your neighborhoods. And bring as many people to Christ as possible. Fulfill Daniel 12.3. That these people who will bring as many people to righteousness as possible will shine as the stars in heaven. You will be one of them. But you have to step out of the world and out of Babylon. If you need more information, please contact me. At triplegrace55 at gmail.com Help us to spread this message and to gather the harvest workers together and to lay a strong foundation for Mount Zion. Help us by spreading this video messages to the world. Assist us and so into the ministry that we can make more videos. You will help us in our mission to establish as many of these dwelling places of Zion as possible. Step forward. Ask the Lord about it. Pray over it and he will guide you to us. Learn. Our website has so many resources and they're all free of charge. Use them. If you have questions, send them to me. We are an interactive website, so come forward and ask. As it's written in the Bible, ask and it will be given to you. So step forward now. Because my harvest is the end of the world, says the Lord. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today, and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Maranatha.